More local news starts with what you should not do with your leftover prescription drugs. People flushing them down the toilet may be putting all of us at risk. Shannon Kantner has more on why our drinking water is not drug free. Germs on a water fountain are no surprise, but what about drugs in the water? Most meds when they are taken are not completely absorbed by the body. They pass through unchanged. They get into the water supply and um, cause pollution, even though it's minor. Add to that the commonly held belief that we're supposed to flush leftover prescriptions down the toilet and you get effects on wildlife, such as three-eyed fish, according to some studies. There is a lot of evidence that speaks to the residuals being in the receiving waters of the United States and the local community here. Now, there are very, very low levels, but we want to be on the front end of that. We want to be able to protect the environment. He said most wastewater treatment facilities, including Lansing's, can't remove every leftover drug particle. So prescription take back events like the one at the Capitol are especially important. A source control issue, which is you know, inviting people to take a little bit more time out of their day to dispose of their drugs when they're done using them uh, in a safe and an efficient manner. At this point, the flushing method hasn't made drinking water dangerous for humans yet. But if this process continues, who knows what can happen? So it's import, important to do it the right way so it doesn't get in the water supply. In Lansing, Shannon Kantner, Fox 47 News. Instead of flushing old meds down the toilet, the best advice is to go to special events like today's at the Capitol and get rid of them there.